Hey there, fellow wanderers. Whether you're a digital nomad, a globetrotter, or just heading out on a well-deserved vacation, having the right tablet can significantly enhance your travel experience. In today's video, we'll be diving into the top 5 tablets that are perfect for travel. From portability to performance, we've got you covered. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check the link in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. Apple iPad Air Apple's iPad Air is an excellent tablet and a brilliant option for those seeking a travel tablet for the holidays. We'd go so far as to say it's likely the best iPad for most users, with its excellent display, blazing fast M1 chip, and reasonable price. The iPad Air boasts Apple's M1 processor, which powered the 2020 MacBook lineup. It may not be the newest Apple Silicon processor, but it's still an amazing laptop-grade performer even a few years on. Apple complements the M1 chip with 8GB of RAM and 64 or 256GB of storage. The iPad Air's 10.9 inches 2360x1640 liquid retina display isn't quite as high-end as the mini-LED and AMOLED models of pricier tablets. However, it still looks impressive and is great for content consumption. Its 500 nit peak brightness also makes it great for outdoor use, so you can lounge around in the sun while still using your iPad Air for videos or browsing the internet. As you might expect, this high-performance CPU, great display, and typical Apple build quality don't come cheap. The base model Apple iPad Air costs around $600 and you only get 64GB of storage. That's certainly usable, but those who demand more storage are looking at an extra $150 to bump it up to 256 gigabytes. Worth it. We'll let you be the judge. Number 4. Apple iPad Pro 11 The iPad Pro 11 packs Apple's M2 processor paired with 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, broadly on par with all the current MacBooks. Storage is also impressive, starting at 128 gigabytes and maxing out at 2 terabytes. So you're getting laptop class specs and performance in a tablet, putting the iPad Pro 11 miles ahead of the competition. Want a tablet for heavy photo or video editing? This is it. Ezoic. Games and content will look great on the iPad Pro 11 seconds 2388x1688 liquid retina display. It's a vibrant and accurate display that'll impress all but the pickiest users. It also has a 120Hz refresh rate, which ensures smooth animations and scrolling. Add a four-speaker setup into the mix, and you have a great tablet for content consumption and even creation. Of course, that's the minimum you'd expect from a tablet that starts at around $800. The Apple iPad Pro 11 isn't a general-purpose tablet for the average user. But if you need laptop rivaling power in a tablet, there isn't anything else worth considering. Number 3. Apple iPad 10 The Apple iPad 10 is faster than all Android tablets. Especially compared to its predecessor, it offers a better and more modern design, a bit larger and bright 10.9 inches display, as well as a new and good keyboard cover. Overall, it's a great tablet but it does have a bunch of downsides. The screen is not laminated and I noticed a jelly effect. You can get it with the first-generation Apple Pencil. However, for that one to work you have to buy an extra adapter which is ridiculous. And, sadly, the price has increased. That said, you most likely won't notice a huge difference in daily use. It's more than fast enough for the average user and can play most games without issue. It'll also still outclass most Android tablets. One area where the 10th-generation iPad falls flat slightly is the display. The 10.9 inches 2360x1640 display is non-laminated and has no anti-glare coating, so you'll notice reflections in brightly lit environments, which can get annoying. The non-laminated design also creates a noticeable gap between the glass and the display. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Fee The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Fee is currently the best mid-range tablet with a pen. We get a pretty good overall package here with a high-resolution 10.9 inches 90Hz IPS display, a great design, the latest software with long updates, and the S Pen, which is included. The S9 fee has many premium features such as a fingerprint reader, good speakers, and a water and dust-resistant body. It would be even better if the processor was more powerful. So, it's not a perfect gaming tablet. Samsung uses an in-house Exynos 1380 processor for the Tab S9 fee, which the company pairs with 6GB of RAM. It's not the fastest setup, but it's nappy enough for daily use and light gaming. You only get a 128GB storage option with the Tab S9 fee, but it comes with a micros D slot that supports up to 1TB cards. The display is a solid 2304x1440 10.9 IPS panel. 
It runs at a maximum of 90 Hz and has decent contrast and vibrant colors. It also has a fully laminated construction, unlike Apple's 10th Gen iPad. So, you won't see any unsightly gaps between the glass and the display here. Other welcome features include a bundled S Pen for notes and sketching. Add to that Samsung's excellent notes app, and you have a great tablet for jotting down any great ideas that come to mind while you're on holiday. The Tab S9 Fee also has IP68 water and dust proofing, making it a perfect poolside companion. Number 1. Tab P11 Gen 2 Lenovo's Tab P11 Gen 2 is a great option if you don't want to spend a ton of money on your travel tablet but still want a sizable 120Hz display. It has to make sacrifices in other areas to tick that particular box, but they may just be sacrifices you're also willing to make. Let's start with the screen. The Tab P11 Gen 2 has an 11.5 inches IPS display that runs at 120Hz with a 2000x120 resolution and 400 nits of maximum brightness. It has vibrant colors and reasonably deep blacks for an IPS panel, offering an enjoyable content consumption experience overall. Lenovo equipped the P11 Gen 2 with an 8-core MediaTek Helio G99 processor. The base model comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, rising to 6GB and 128GB at the top end. It's not high-end hardware, then, but it's adequate considering the P11 Gen 2 seconds price and target audience. It'll do perfectly for everyday tasks such as web browsing, Netflix, and light productivity. Conversely, gaming isn't the Tab P11 Gen 2 seconds strong suit. It's acceptable, but hardcore gamers will want to spend extra on a higher performance tablet. The cameras are also subpar. Not ideal, sure, but neither of these should matter if you're simply looking for a value-conscious tablet that doesn't skimp on the all-important screen. So there you have it, our top 5 tablets for travel in 2024. Whether you're a digital nomad working remotely, a student in a study abroad program, or just someone exploring the world, these tablets have something to offer. Be sure to check the links in the description below, I mentioned each product. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you found helpful this video. Safe travels, adventurers.